gentlemen, welcome back to the Vigilant Voices podcast. It's me again, Face Ass, the guy from Vigilante, and uh, yeah, EA Play was like, I want to say two weeks ago, maybe three, but I was just lazy as hell and didn't want to record and all that stuff, because I've been working, so I'm going to do it now, better late than never. And always follow your dreams. The wise words of, I don't know, some random white dude. But hey, let's get straight into it. Um, The first thing they showed was The Sims. I, I, I still don't know who plays The Sims. Last year they did this this big ass, like, All Lives Matter. Uh, like, you know, all that shit, like... Oh, this game is for black people. I'm like, bro, you know, I haven't seen one per- black person play The Sims. I'm not even going to hold you on that. And it's basically like, and it's an update, but it's just like, like a farming update, which I was like, how did y'all have like magicians and stuff out before a farming update? Now people can like play Animal Crossing, but The Sims version and shit, so... That was an L for me. Well, The Sims always been an L. Now, no. I played... What was the black version of The Sims? It was, like, called, like, The Herbs or something like that. That that game was pretty lit. So, I played that version of The Sims. But anything else, yeah, that was trash. Uh, they announced... They also, well, they gave us more information on... FIFA and Madden. So, this year, they're going to be using hypermotion technology... So basically, it's just like mode count times 10, which it should be cool, but then when the games come out two weeks after, they're going to be like, oh, he keeps doing the the right stick glitch and all that stuff, so that, that was harder, and for each one they're doing, again, with the mode cap, it's going to be 11 versus 11, so it's not going to be like, um... Like, it's just one person doing everything. Um, they're going to have each position, like, down pat. But the only thing is, it's just, like, it's not going to be, like, very, like, detailed. Because every, say, like, every quarterback is going to have the same stance. Or, like, every defensive lineman. So, say if, like, I don't know, Haloti Nada is a right-handed, uses his right hand to touch the floor. And the mocap that uses his left hand, that... They might be wrong. I thought I heard a scream. I'm about to say, I'm at work. Oh, I do hear a screaming. But it's like celebratory, so we straight. So, next thing they show. Oh, by the way, they had, um,. Austin Creed, aka Xavier Woods from the WWE, they had him hosting. He did really good, and it's good to see, like, more representation, because usually it's just, like, a middle-aged white dude and stuff, and, you know, they they show all this, like, fake hype and stuff, but it was cool to see him do it. That was really cool. Oh, so next, um, they had Codemasters, which is, like, this racing brand that just makes, like, a whole bunch of shitty racing games. But I, I know y'all niggas that be talking about, like, V12s on, on my Instagram feed and all the y'all room room ass niggas. I know y'all love that stuff. So, they announced a new game called Grid Legends. And it's basically, like, all the grids. But you're going to be playing, like, the underdog storyline this time. And you got to beat, like, the group of the high tier people. Just like every other racing, like, street racing game. And they... For this one, they use something that they're calling extended reality, which is like motion capture, but they're actually putting the actual like um like the actual professional racers in it. So they're giving like their honest answers and stuff. So it's not like they're just like reading off a script. If they go off script, that's completely fine. They don't have to like redo it ten times to make sure it's acceptable by like the people. Like, that are ahead of them. 
And they also announced with this, uh, um, I was about to say update. This new game, they have, um, like, new cities and modes. For example, they showed Moscow, Russia, and, uh, London in the UK. Which is cool, because, like, I'm never gonna go to, to Moscow, but I might go to London. Just, like, I don't know, not to look at the buildings, probably I'd like to go see a girl or something. And the new modes, they have boosts, which they didn't give that much information about, but they did announce elimination. The elimination's, like, probably, like, last, the person that's in the last place after a certain time limit gets eliminated like that, so you, it's good to be, like, the fastest one in the group. Um, after that, they announced Apex Legends. Uh, I used to play Apex Legends, but then, like, that shit just got toxic as hell. I'm just like, bro, what the fuck? You cannot be... It was a, um, it was a competitor to Fortnite, and, like, you know, pe- the people that didn't, like, build them, they were like, oh, yeah. And then it's the same people that made Titanfall, so I was like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna give it a chance. So they announced this new character named Seer, Sheer, I don't know. It's a, it's a black, uh, like a... He sounds like he's from the islands, or he's from, like, Louisiana or something. But a lot of people say he was looking like Little Nas X, and, like, that was the whole meme going around, like, Little Nas X confirmed and all this stuff. And then, he was wearing, like, you know, wide receivers are wearing, like, tank tops and stuff. He was wearing stuff like that, so it was, like, bro... I was not feeling the outfit. Hopefully, they give him, like, a different outfit that looks, like, super hard and stuff. So, it was his whole, um, like, I don't know what to call it, like, his special, he's just, like, Bloodhound, and, like, a, he's, a, he's a targeting system, basically, but with this one, it's, like, you can see through walls and stuff, which you can with Bloodhound. But it's like little trackers and stuff. And like, I don't know. He, I don't know how to explain it. Basically, he shot something out of his chest, like some termites and stuff. And like, with his like passive, you can like, it'll shoot out a little bit. But if you do his ult, it'll be inside, like, he'll make an entire sphere out of those termites he shot out of his chest so if you if you're an enemy and you're playing him and you enter that chest enter that like whole uh sphere if you walk through it you won't be detected if i'm not mistaken but if you run through it then you'll be you'll be notified and stuff so in the end game that's going to come in handy like if the circle's small and, like, nobody knows where to go. Like, if you put it by a door and people, like, just, like, ride through it and not know that it's there, then, yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be hella glitched out. Just, like, uh, Caustic's, uh, remember he used to do that little, like, trap thing in King's Canyon at that one building? I forgot where it was, but... Yeah, this this is definitely gonna be a lot of shops, especially in arenas. That'll that'll be fun to see too. Like if you put it at one direction of the map and then snipe from the opposite direction. Oh yeah, that's that's how I would play him. Play him as a sniper character. Yeah, that was about it on uh, Apex. So they announced this one game that was a selection in the Tribeca Film Festival, which I didn't know games can be selected for Tribeca Film Festivals. So the game is called Lost and Random, and basically it's, it looks like a platformer, and like your sidekick is a fucking dice, which I was like, yeah, that's, that's kind of weak, bro, I'm not even gonna hold you. But it's a stop motion game, so I can see, like, it, it takes a lot of time to do stop motion, like, 
what was that movie with the with the dog Harold and Wallace with stop motion? That oh, and Chicken Run. That's the one I was trying to figure out. Yeah, those are stop motion films. But that one was pretty cool, and Chicken One was pretty cool. So they announced this uh, new thing called Dice Battle. My fault, I'm looking at the camera. Yeah, he's just standing there menacingly. God damn, this shit bright. So they announced this thing called Dice Battle, and again, it uses his companion, which I guess his name was like Dicey or something. And basically, like, you have to roll a dice and, like, whatever number you get is, like, how hot, how good of the attack is against the enemy, which is cool. But then it's just, like, you know there's going to be a recharge time for you to use that and all that stuff. You just got to fight regularly. So, I say don't depend on the dice battle gimmick for the whole game. Just, like, at least know what you're doing when you pick it up. I'm sorry, I'm going slow as hell. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get this about 30 minutes. Oh, and they announced that this game comes out September 10th. So, what's today? Today's the sec August 2nd. So in about a month, this should be released, unless it gets knocked back. Which I hope it doesn't, but it might. It might get pushed back to like November or something if they don't have it finished. And the next thing they announced is Knockout City, which is, it's cool to watch, but, like, I heard you gotta be, like, super skilled to play it. Uh, I never played it, but I, I watch people play it on, like, Twitch and YouTube and stuff, and it looks cool. So, the whole, their whole thing was season two, and the whole, uh, theme was Night at the Movies, so... They're, from what they showed in the trailer, they added, like, a whole, like, theater map, which is cool. Uh, this one released, released, excuse me, July 27th, so I haven't personally looked at, like, the update and what it looks like, but I haven't heard anything bad about it, like, the servers being laggy, so it's probably going to be, like, a mediocre uh, type game. So they also said new skins and uh they're releasing new balls paws so I, I again I've never played the game so I don't know what character is using what skins and stuff so I just have to wait and see I might get it to be honest uh they're also adding cross play at launch well since this is past they already added cross play so that should be fun it's not like a game for the kids not a game for me per se, but if you got like, if you're at like some type of like get together and you got like a whole bunch of kids, put on this game and just let them have fun. So, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip. I'm looking at my notes and I'm, I'm gonna leave the two best ones for last. They did give us some more information on Skate Four. They released a teaser on the 14th, and basically they were just like, oh, we're still working on it, but we gave, like, a whole bunch of, uh, exclusive people a first look, which was just, like, like the motion capture and stuff, like, what it's gonna look like in-game. So they had, like, Rigo Nasty, and, like, I forgot his name, he makes, like, he makes depressed people by, like, 40... $40 sweaters that say you matter on them, which is like hella crazy to me. Like, if you gotta pay for $40 to feel like you're special, then you should probably use that $40 towards therapy and stuff. But hey, I'm not, I'm not gonna clown him because that's, that's hella profit on his behalf. Yeah, that's all they get. They said that this version of Skate 4 is going to re resemble more of the 
free roam aspect of Skate 2, which was cool because Skate 2 had, you know, they had RIP, they had Big Black as a security guard, and then they had the option of where you have to pay to get the, uh, what's like the, the lead stoppers, you know, like those metal things, you have to get those off and you have to pay a dude for it. And they had, like, a whole bunch of Easter eggs, so I'm glad to see what they do. But, because Skate 3 was cool, but it was just, like, basically went in a line. Like, you go to this, and you complete all the tasks. You go here, you complete all the tasks. You go here, complete all the tasks. With Skate 2, it's just, like, as soon as you leave the, uh, the skate park, then, yeah. Once you leave that that initial skate park, then it's just like, yeah, you're on your own. You, to be honest, you don't have to do any of the missions unless you want to get, like, new boards and stuff. I wonder if you can play skate on the PlayStation. Because I have a PlayStation 5. I know if you have, like, a disc, you can play it on skate too, but I don't know if you can play any of the skate. I wonder if they have on my PlayStation. I'm going to have to see when I get home. Okay, I'm at, I'm at work and so. stuff. And then they released the, uh, the Grand Theft Auto 5 update called Los Santos Tuners. Um, again, this is something for your room, room ass. So it is, it is cool. Um, they have this thing called the car meet, and it's just like a whole bunch of like weirdos get together and look at people's cars and stuff. I mean, it's cool, but they have this thing where it's like it's a reputation level. And Rockstar had made it to where it's the max is level a thousand, but you can only get a max of like like a small amount per day. So you, most likely you, you're gonna be spending a month in the uh, in the car meet just to get max level and get like all the customization options unlocked and stuff. I mean, it would be cool for like you didn't work, if you were a kid, or if you left your uh, your console open overnight. But I'm not gonna take that risk to do that. Uh, like they also have auto shop missions, which I've been doing. Which is um, I forget what his name was. He's one of the DJs at the casino, the one with the black dude with the afro. It's basically like high, like mini heists, basically. They're pretty cool, and you can do them completely solo. You don't have to have people, but they're on. They are on like a time limit. I completed two of them. Like, did I complete? Yeah, I completed two of them, and they can range from like 160k to 190k. So you're basically making like 200k. Plus, you get 10k for each like set up mission so you make it like 200k if we're doing that uh i'm trying to they added oh yeah they um so, so the there's a female i forget what her name was like it's like sansa or something uh they're gonna give you missions well, she's going to give you missions like, oh, somebody just dropped off a car. They want you to customize it and you have to deliver it. The trick is don't use, you don't buy the staff members because they're a waste of time. They're a waste of money because they won't be careful to use like the whole, uh, they'll basically like go put down the price of the vehicle. So... If I was you, just do it yourself in like a like a invite only session. That'll be your best bet. And then just like drive super slow, don't hit anything, and you'll get like max money. That's what I usually do, and I'll get like 80k per car. But the only thing is, you have to buy, you have to put in the initial value, but you'll get it back like instantly. And then if you get, like, a satisfaction fee, you can get, like, an additional, like, $10,000. So that's what I like about it. And then it's just random. I think it's, like, one every, like, 45 minutes. So you can do, like, two at a time and then deliver them. 
So about time you do. If you complete like all the missions that are on the board, and then do it, then you should be straight on that. And then they have upstairs. They have like car missions, which are the basically the same thing as the missions uh Simeon gives you. You just gotta find the car on the map and uh, deliver it for for cash at the I forgot. I think it's at the docks, if I'm not mistaken. And it's basically the same thing. And then they'll like cross them off on a list. And I don't know. I have to see. I don't know if there's like an incentive for getting for getting all of them. There might. You, I know you get like a cash thing, but I heard, I heard it's only like 10k, so it might not be worth it. That's just me. Uh, oh shit. Alright, this is the last two. I'm gonna go back to work. I might record like another session later on, but for now, no. Uh, Battlefield 2042. Uh, they're having three different modes with which they in the presentation called experience which is like they're having warfare which is like you know you're basically capture the flag TD game game modes like like call of duty game modes we're also having a hazard zone which is releasing later this year so probably like November December type stuff which is gonna be like Hopefully it's like a battle royale thing. If not, then that's fine. Cause I'm still gonna play it. I didn't usually play the previous ones because I'm not a fan of World War Two simulators. I think I think it's just kind of boring to me. No, fat. I'm looking at the cameras. There's some homeless people fighting outside, but they're not on property, so I'm not gonna worry about it. To be honest with you. So, the last one they announced was Portal. Portal is gonna be a community-based uh, type thing where you can use uh, bits and pieces from games like uh, 1942 Battlefield 3, Bad Company 2, and then t of course 2042 to, to create like, I don't know how to explain it, it's not custom maps because they said specifically it's not a, a level editor, it's not like a level editor and stuff, so you might be able to, to use like characters and guns from each one and have like different scenarios like you might have like a tank from 2042 in a world war ii setting and stuff like that uh that would also they said the portal mode is coming at launch so that should be cool and they also get are giving us like pre-made modes and stuff so it might be like 2042 Versus 1942 Battle of the Ages or something like that. So that should be cool. Probably if you give it like a month, there are going to be like some sick creations and stuff. Like a Rust type thing and stuff like that. So that should be cool. Um, again, with this coming in, they're adding... They're giving us, at launch, they're giving us 13 different maps. That's three that come with... 2042 and then additional 10 that come with the portal thing hopefully they, they'll they add like the other 10 maps to, to 2042 mode but they didn't they didn't give us that much information they said we'll just have to wait and see on that The, the craziest thing that happened at EA Play Dead Space no Dead Space are like I wanted it's not old old but it came out like 2010 I believe I don't remember the exact date so it's a, it's a horror game 
Like, it was, like, a small teaser trailer where they had, like... So, it was at the very end, and they were like, oh, we have one more announcement. And the the host, uh, Austin Creed, was like, oh, your surprise is down that dark hallway. And then, like, the camera just went. And then they just showed, like, the teaser... And they show the uh, the main character his like suit lighting up because in the back it lights up blue and stuff. But again, this is a, this isn't a new game. This is going to be a remake of the first one, and then probably based on that, they'll probably do a remake of the second one if the numbers are good, or they might add like DLC to this one. And like when I seen it, the first thing I didn't understand because there was like a. A bloody sign that says cut off their limbs so it gave me like a like a gears of war type vibe like i forgot what the gun was called but the one with the chainsaw af- at the end of it that's what i used to do in gears of war i would just like cut off their limbs like literally as you were instructed to do so that should be fun i'm i'm definitely gonna pick that up i had a lot of games to pick up in October, November, I got Far Cry, I got 2K, I got Battlefield, I might wait on 2K, I'm gonna wait until, see what like all these like super duper 2K YouTubers say about it, then after that, oh yeah, that's a definite pick up, uh, what else? And there's like, I, I, again, I've never played Dead Space, so I don't know like who's the villains are. There was like some guy was like, they don't want you to to survive, they don't want you to live. And at the same time, there was like growling in the in the background, so I was like kind of weirded out by that. So I, I I'm not gonna lie, I turned that shit off. I was like, ain't no man, ain't no grown ass man gonna whisper in my ear talking about they're not ready for us. But yeah. Uh, there was no other news. Uh, no other gaming news. Hold on, let me search up gaming news. No. Cyberpunk game, the set might be blown up, but the multiplayer's... Oh, BlizzCon went on strike. Uh, basically, well, Activision BlizzCon basically said, like, the white dudes there were being assholes. And, like, they, they were saying, like, frat like stuff. So, like, yeah, they were, like, definitely, like, groping the women and stuff, which is crazy. And then they showed this picture of, like, some of the developers praising Bill Cosby for what he did. And that's kind of. It's, it's sad, bro. I mean, nobody really talks about this stuff because the women are scared, but it's like when that shit come out, that's... I feel sad, bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at news right now. Oh, the, the Infinite... The Halo Infinite beta came out. I heard, I, I've been watching people play that too, it looks good, but I'm not about to buy a whole nother console just to play it, I'm, I might get a, the Xbox One X in the future, and then post on IG about how I have all three systems and stuff, so I might flex like that, I don't know. Sony stops McDonald's for giving away PS5 controllers. Not gonna lie, this is kind of hard. It's a McDonald's customized PS5 controller. So on the left side, it's base white with a with a McDonald's fry logo on the uh, on the left hand side, and on the right side it's base red, and then it has the uh, like a 
image of a Big Mac on it. That looks pretty cool. Oh, and they said they were giving away in Australia. Oh, in celebration of their 50th birthday in Australia. And they forgot to ask them. Oh, I don't see anything else. Oh, they announced a new Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Them announcing a new Switch was the dumbest thing. Well, the way they announced it. It's, there's nothing new with it. It's just like the screen is gonna be slightly bigger and the pictures are gonna be better handheld. But for me, I, I don't play my Switch handheld. I dock it to a TV. So, yeah, that's... But you, it's not going to be like, oh, this is going to be a, a Switch Pro exclusive game. No, it's going to play the same thing. And the storage is terrible. The, the base storage on the new Switch is only like 25 gigabytes. So, you're going to have to buy like a 2 terabyte um, SD card just to play like... Legend of Zelda or some shit. That's what's... What's so stupid about it? Uh, I don't see anything else. Uh, while I'm sitting here looking for news... Be sure to subscribe on YouTube, the Apple Vigilante, Instagram, it's the Vigilante, Twitter, it's the Vigilante, TikTok, it's the Vigilante, and yeah. Say anything other no other news. Uh they still haven't announced anything on the new 2K. They announced a new Pokemon game. I don't play Pokemon, but it's basically like an MMO. Uh, no thanks. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. I'm gonna end it there. Uh, thanks everybody for listening. If you are listening on Apple Podcasts, make sure you rate this podcast a five stars so I can move up the algorithm. Why is my voice crackling? I didn't do anything today. Um, I'm sure y'all tune in because I'm probably going to drop another one in like, I don't know, a month because gaming news has been dead lately so I might, if y'all have like any questions and stuff, make sure y'all let me know on IG and then Yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.